In this video, I will introduce the use of label system in Stata. Previously, we have using the generate and replace code to generate a new variable called religrc1. So it takes value 1 if it is Protestant and or Christian. Value 2 if Catholic, value 3 Jewish, value 4 none, value 5 other. So the problem is that this isn't really readable for other read for other one who wants to understand your stuff. So that we need to give our variable and its value a uh, understandable label. That is where the label system comes into play. Under the general category of manipulate labels, we have a lot of small functions. We will use label variable, which is name gave a na variable a explanation. We will also use label define which will define a set of labels for value for a particular label name. So here we can add, modify, replace the labels. And for label values is to set a label name to a set of variables. It may be a little bit confusing now but we will clarify as we goes goes along. So let's first label variable religion R C one religion Let's tab the data again. So you can see here it is from religion RC1 to religion, but the name of the variable is still religion RC1. Copy to do file. You can see that Stata highlights any string by red. By using double quotation, you, you are indicated to Stata that the the content within the quotation is string. Now let's define a label for the religious one. In general, you don't want to name the label in the same name as the variable. So, you'd, for example, here you don't want to name the label religious one as religious one although you can do that and Stata will still uh, create a new label name called religious one but it may cause confusion later so in general I would recommend a more clear distinguish between variable and label the way to assign value uh, assign string to value is very straightforward it's just you first list the value and then you ta and then you add in the string notice that i'm using uppercase for all the variable other the jewish because later I can show you guys how to use replace, uh, modify and replace. You have, after you define it, you have to value the variable, variable name first, then the label name second. Now, here we have our nice label 
on display. So now we are going to replace the little Jewish here. You can either use replace or modify. It's fine, but I'm not going to use modify here. After you modify it, you have to relabel it. Now let's run cross tab again, and you can see that the Jewish has been uppercase for the J. If you really messed up your label, you can always drop it as you will drop a variable. Now if you tab it, the label will be gone and you can redefine the label as you wish.